gadgets of that time were left out untouched televisions and tape recorders and call it what you may at that time 1940s what you call luxury they were all lying on the footpaths on the road nobody was robbing them or taking them they were not bothered what were they bothered to reach india safely they wanted to carry themselves to india that is not important they paid for it they spent thousands of rupees for them but they were all thrown they said it is too heavy for us to carry to india we can make a living i have got the capacity i have got the confidence i don't worry about a tv lying there or a radio lying there i will go safely to india make money start a business and become better so your self image is very very important authenticity you should enter into the arena when vivekananda was walking in boston in new york or traveling or sitting inevitably people said here is a man with a difference people never knew who he was in america till september 11th only few people could shake hand with him before that his self image was clear when he was sitting on the stage with so many dignitaries so many religious leaders people referred only to that peculiarly dressed man peculiarly dressed man his self image was clear when gandhi ji was standing in the high court in calcutta brought from the alipur jail as a accused of the british empire history of mahatma gandhi says the chief justice of india of that time who was a british man an english man before reading out the judgment got up from his seat turned towards the witness box greeted gandhi ji three times sat down and proclaimed the judgment his subordinates the juniors were shocked protocol has been broken the chief justice is standing and bowing down to the accused of the british empire when he goes back inside the chief justice his pa goes sir what did you do there straight came the reply from the chief justice of india whenever i see the man something makes me do that i cannot resist that was his self image authenticity matters not your external achievements support it by another stand of your life namely inner grit g r i t inner grit is the tenacity the bulldog tenacity not getting carried away or weakened or becoming a goody goody namby pamby fellow no the inner toughness is important it should be like a tennis racket of the world champion tuned to receive a service of 200 kilometers per hour i also can hold it but when roger federer holds it is different they maintain their integrity the tenacity of the nylon strings you have observed in the television they fine tune it if they are not happy another racket maintain consistency how will it come in our grit and the third stand of excellence which has to be supported to attitude first one is authenticity second one is inner grit the third one very important is sensitivity sensitivity has got two meanings in english one is being over emotional becoming too sensitive anything happens start crying bucket full no here sensitivity is the fineness it should be like electric cable like electricity passing through a cable sensitive not too heavy not too low it has to carry the energy very sensitive the mic is very sensitive the magnet inside it has to carry my voice through the cable through the amplifier through the equalizers and bring it back through the to the speaker it has to be sensitive you have to understand what is happening in your own mind don't be too gross don't be too gross that is why man making education 
the theme of this convention is man making education sensitivity fine tune fine tune like a violin like a sitar like a tanpura fine tune get the best music if it is tightened too much it cuts it breaks tighten loosened no music the correct frequency so let us just and when you have this attitude properly trained fine tuned authentic and full of strength inner strength it will have a impact on your behavior what makes your life 100% is not just your skills or not just your knowledge not just the hard work also but you need to have smart work along with hard work which is attitude and a can do attitude which says you can do everything but not all at once you can do everything if it is important enough for you to do you can do everything but there will be limitations physical financial family doesn't matter mark the word you can and when you start doing it people will support you but the conditions are clear what are the conditions authenticity sensitivity inner grit you cannot bypass you will have to pay the toll tax before reaching mumbai you will have to pay it you cannot bypass you should not bypass if you are going to bypass you are cheating yourself and to become excellent mark that what bhagavad gita tells to all students all seekers uddhare atman atmanam atmanam avasadhayet atmaiva yatmano bandhu atmaiva ripuratmanah one is one's own enemy one is one's own friend raise yourself by yourself oh mighty one it's not a character called arjuna that krishna is addressing it's you you are in the battlefield have the faith in the sarathi and who is the sarathi it is your convictions your buddhi not the mind mind is only the reflector what is important is your convictions to become excellent keep the motto in your mind keep the motto on your desktop keep the motto on your table in terms of opinion dear friends swim with the current learn to swim with the current opinions are many and what are opinions they are rattles of immature minds you put a stone into a empty box and shake it gada 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 sound aata hai opinions go on talking but what are convictions vekanda says convictions are the mothers of great deeds convictions are the mothers of great deeds opinions are rattles of immature minds so to become successful to become happy to make a difference in life in terms of opinion swim with the current you need not oppose you need not worry just listen just keep quiet if you have got the authenticity correct that person okay but in terms of conviction that is what you have to stand for that's what your excellence matters whether it's in the traffic jam or whether it's in a high office or whether it's in a agricultural field or whether it's in parliament your conviction matters in terms of conviction stand firm like a rock i repeat again in terms of opinion swim with the current in terms of conviction stand firm like a rock i want all of you to repeat with me these two statements let it go into your subconscious mind not just remain up to 1 o'clock no it has to be digested along with the food that you get please repeat in terms of opinion swim with the current in terms of conviction stand firm like a rock and what should be your conviction vekanda says in the power of goodness so what a very interesting statement this is this is like einstein's equal equals mc square vekanda says if you want to become great if you want to become excellent you want to make a difference in life the first step is conviction in the power of goodness that matters a lot we are all good people 
Every one of you is good. But are you convinced about it? Are you sure that you are good? You don't need a certificate. You don't need a license. You don't, don't need an advertisement. Are you good enough? Are you convinced about it? And there's a very interesting example for conviction, the power of conviction. Let us take the lesson there and change it towards goodness. The lesson comes in the Mahabharata. Five villages, I shall not give five pinhead of land also. Go, do what you like. To whom is he telling? To Krishna himself. To the Lord himself, who has come as an ambassador to beg five villages. And Krishna observes, what has happened to this fellow? <laughs> I want five villages, he says, five pinheads worth of land I will not give. Why Duryodhana? Why are you behaving like this? Why so small-minded? And look at his conviction. To whom is he addressing? Krishna. What is he telling? Janami dharmam nachame pravrittihi. I know what is dharma. I cannot follow it. Janami adharmam nachame nivrittihi. I know what is adharma. I cannot resist from it. Conviction. Let us not take that aspect. Let us not have the conviction of Duryodhana, but the lesson of conviction there. For that sure conviction, after his death, Duryodhana stayed for a few minutes or a few days in heaven. That's all. When Yudhishthira asked the question to the Lord there, why this fellow is sitting, this notorious criminal? The Lord says, the laws of heaven are different from the laws of the earth. Here what matters is conviction. At least for some time he will be here, then we will put him in some other hotel. Conviction in the power of goodness. That is what matters today. Please understand this. And when we go forward quickly in this journey towards excellence, I have already referred to this to have a proper self-image, a healthy self-image of yourself and to that a great writer from America says what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters to compared to what lies within us. Who can and it is the only one, you are the only one who can use your ability, it's an awesome responsibility. Nature has given us face, but we have to provide the expression. Be careful when we express, because our expression will leave an impression. Turn the torchlight towards yourself. Check yourself before you went, try to check others. Otherwise, you will be on the wrong side of the journey. So excellent man brings out the best from his own self. Here the self means the Atma. Not just tiny body mind, complex. Go deeper into yourself to get the excellence. That's where the Swami announced in the beginning. Teach yourselves, teach everyone. Real nature. You students should understand this. We are not Arabians, we are not foreigners, we are not somewhere from other parts of the world. Yesterday I had an opportunity to meet a few foreign professors who visited symbiosis and they attended a lecture in a Rotary Club from University of Maryland. So clear in Sanskrit, so clear in Upanishads, so clear in Indian culture. I was amazed. Just five minutes talk. One is a professor of religious studies. He was so clear about the Indian concepts of karma, rebirth, etc., etc., because he is, he is teaching them the, uh, the scheme of law, karma, rebirth, attachment, detachment, everything to the American students. So here, what I am trying to tell is the depth in yourself. Real nature means your real nature, which is nitya, shuddha, buddha, mukta, swabhava. When I say this to many people, they will look, why Swami is speaking French? 
your real nature we have sold yourself we are hiding our real nature with a big glamorous face throw it out cast it off don't hide yourself be yourself first what is your real self nitya eternal shuddha pure buddha awakened mukta free what a great excellent quality i get for myself i don't need anybody certificate chant this to yourself nitya shuddha buddha mukta swabhava your nature is your very nature not borrowed swabhava and when you have this swabhava always you can go through a dense forest because you have torch light no fear that is a power of knowledge knowledge knows no fear so what i'm trying to tell you is an expression is very very important and successful men are positive and positive men are very successful you can add excellent also why how is it possible what are they doing what is the secret of their success what is the secret of their efficiency what is the secret of the are uh, 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 what you call abhinav bindra hitting the gold medal for india they deliberately feed their mind with positive thoughts on a regular basis you will have to work for that along with your studies along with your other goals in life this will be should be your priority deliberately feed your mind with positive thoughts on a regular basis that laziness that weakness that tiredness has to go india cannot afford to sleep the young boys and girls cannot afford to lazy off we are paying a heavy price today in the in the form of corruption and all sorts of negative things excellence is going a back seat we are getting other excellences corruption is an excellence today all sorts of mal practices excellent today they are broadcasted again and again but human excellence is at stake we have auctioned human excellence that is the tragedy of our times we are auctioning ourselves i am available for sale 500 rupees 500 crores anybody can purchase you tomorrow when you go out of the street if it is election time isn't it why the mind has got virus virus to attract other virus also but i am sure i am hopeful i am having the faith that after visiting pune after 3 or 4 uh, years regularly i can feel pune ancha yuvak maja vishwas ahe that you will do something different for the society so with this few words of excellence and some points sharing with you i leave it to my friend ragottam rao and then we'll have some interaction thank you very much